I'm going to show you how you can give limited access to an Airtable view. This is useful if you want to allow somebody to edit some fields but not, other, not others, or some rows but not others. Pretty much just allows you to give somebody access to your view without giving them access to your base. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com, and I will add a URL to this in the description. There are two price tiers. The first one is unlimited. This allows you to generate as many editors as you want for as many views as you want. So these can be for views from within the same table, different tables, different bases, etc. The second tier is limited to two. So same thing, different bases, different tables, etc. But you can only have up to two. So you can only share up to two of these views. Be sure to check out the overall limitations because not everything that's supported by our table is supported by this tool. So this is what you would see after buying the tool. Follow these URLs to fill up the first three. And then next we'll fill up the view ID. To find your view ID, select your whatever view you want from this dropdown, and then you'll find the view ID in the URL. So just copy that over, it starts with VIW, drop it in there. A form ID, this is useful if you want to have a plus button so that people can add new entries, new records. And I'll skip that for this tutorial, but you can follow the directions there. And once that's all set up, you can hit save. Um, you'll see that our fields got automatically imported here. These are, um, you can sort them if you'd like, and we can remove them if we remove some of them if we'd like. So that once we remove them, the editor that we share will not have them anymore. So anyways, let's remove a couple of things here and yeah, let's just try sorting things here and hitting save. And if you don't see any field here that for, some, for whatever reason you're not seeing your field, just enter the field name here and be sure to enter it exactly like it is because it's case sensitive. So let's go ahead and open up this URL and I'll go ahead and open it in a private browser here to show you what the password protected form looks like. So this is the password protected form. We can grab that password from here and drop it in here. Once we hit next, it'll ask us whether or not we want this password to be remembered on this browser. This is why I'm opening it in a, in a new private tab here. Um, once we open this, we don't have to enter the browser every time because we hit remember. Um, so yeah, so let me refresh here to show you what I mean. So see, this time we didn't have to enter the password. So this is the editor. We can you know just make adjustments here. It's mostly just text editing. Um, most things will be edited as text. Uh, this is an attachments field. This is what an attachment field would look like. You, you know, press attachments, they open in new tabs. If I wanna grab this last image here, say I wanna grab this image, this is the URL for that. Let's say I wanna add that to here, comma, most things here are comma separated if you if, if there are a list pops in here cool this is a single select it just looks like text um, um, this is a multi select so let's do let's say living room here um, it's just it'll be added to the end of that etc um, linked records will be shown as IDs so it's a bummer but um, you can still input linked records from the primary name so this name, these names that show in Airtable, if I, were, if I were to grab this name right here, I can drop it in here and Airtable will understand it, but it just shows up as an ID. Uh, dates show up just like this. Um, I can change this, just change here. If these are dates with time, if you didn't have time, they'd show up like this. Uh, I'll keep moving. Um, yeah, and check boxes are pretty straightforward. They just work. And yeah, so this is considered one view, right? So if you wanted to share multiple of these, uh, we would go back here to the extension and we would hit add another table. And this gives us multiple tables here. Um, you can call them tables of views, whatever you wanna call them. And these, as you can see, this is just a completely new uh, replica of this, right? So these can be from the same view, different table, same table, it really doesn't matter. And once you fill everything up, you will get a different URL, different password, and you can completely have as, as, uh, as many as you want with the higher tier and two with the lower tier.